Hi, I'm Rick Menards from the Motley Fool Rule Breakers Analyst Team. And I'm here to compare Starbucks Via against Green Mountain's Keurig Takeout. More on that later. Of course, Starbucks Via, which gets its name obviously from the Viacom ticker symbol because everybody wants their MTV up, um, put out these little instant coffee packets. Of course, the big challenge for that is to find uh, water, um, hot water on the go, unless you happen to be carrying a microwave around or you know have an office cooler that actually has hot water. Uh, I'm okay this time, I actually have a solution. And uh, the little, and of course you also need something to stir it in because it's not going to be in there, so I'm going to stir it up with this actual stir. I'm going to see how good it is. <laughs> yeah, just as bad as I thought it would be. It tastes like pool water. Now we can try the cake out. Now I've had this machine for almost three years now. It hasn't let me down yet. Just put in the cake up, hit a button, and it starts brewing. Now while it's working, I'll tell you why Starbucks is not as good as Green Mountain Coffee. Not just in the taste of coffee, but also in the stock. For starters, remember that Via that uh, we saw out there? It only comes in two flavors, two varieties, which is actually one more than the original Ford Model T's and hundreds less than the Keurig uh, family. Uh, because sure, you can have coffee. Uh, you can have green tea. You can even have some cocoa. That's Conan O'Brien. It's not a very good picture. Um, in the meantime, you have a Starbucks trading at 18 times next year's earnings. Green Mountain, 28 times next year's earnings. Yes, it's a bit more, but let's consider the growth we have here. And the coffee's actually done, all right? That's how, that's how quick this works. Um, you have a company that's growing their revenues this, this year, and I'm talking about Starbucks, 8% this year, 4% next year. Compare that to Green Mountain, growing the revenues by 65, 66% this year, and 34% next year. Growing basically about eight times as fast and telling for basically one and a half times, you know, maybe less, a little more than that, but definitely less than two times earnings of what Starbucks is, the multiple of Starbucks is fetching. And what's the point with Via anyway? You have something that actually is slightly cheaper than a Starbucks coffee. And what is this, a gateway drug to the Starbucks rehab? You have people who are telling them, hey, don't come to our stores, have our coffee wherever you want. And it's patently inferior. I've seen many taste tests, blind taste tests online, and they all pick Green Mountain K-Cup over Starbucks Via. And it's not even cheaper when you think about it. I'm picking up my K-Cups through Amazon for about 20 bucks for a 50-count pack. Compare that to Starbucks, which sells about roughly twice as much of their Via packets. So they're charging more for an inferior product that's going to take you away from the Starbucks stores. Green Mountain is growing. There's a patent issue that it'll get beyond because it's acquiring all of its suppliers at this point. And uh, everything else just points right to Starbucks being the bad stock and Green Mountain Coffee Roasters being the cool stock. And that's Rick Menards from the Motley Fool Rule Bakers Analyst Team saying, Green Mountain on.